This chapter is about the remesh modifier. And to first show you what a remesh modifier does, I have prepared a cone and I'm just going to apply a remesh modifier to it. And you can see a couple of options here. For example, the octree depth. And the octree depth is basically the resolution of what the remesh modifier is doing. And you can see that if I go into edit mode, you can see that my cone is consisting out of triangles. And if I now hit apply here, you can see that it's not. The remesh modifier will take as many triangles as possible, or actually all of them. This looks like a triangle, but in reality, it's not. It will take all the triangles and convert them into quads. And you can, of course, see that in the topology of something as regular as this, there will be some mistakes. So I'm going to get back my old cone. The higher the octree depth, the lower the amount of mistakes there will be, but also the more detailed your mesh will be. So it's a good idea to not choose an octree depth higher than eight because that will really slow down your computer. And you can see that uh, there is a second option, which is called scale. And those basically do similar things. So in the Blender Wiki, it says that the scale is basically there to further tweak the octree depth. So the octree depth is how many faces will be created. And the scale is the scale of those faces. Now, if I turn off the eye of this modifier, you can see that the cone is actually smooth because I selected shading smooth. Once I enable the modifier, this will not work anymore. Even if I read reduce the sharpness threshold, that won't do much for the smoothness. If you want this to be smooth again, you'll have to apply the modifier, even if you choose smooth here. This option smooth will actually act very similar to a subdivision surface modifier, meaning that it will not preserve hard edges, it will try to smooth them out. And you can see that once you have the smooth option enabled, you lose the sharpness option. And a sharpness option of zero is somewhat similar to a smooth option. It's still a little sharper, but with a sharpness very high, you can see that sharp edges get preserved. And there is a remove disconnected pieces option. For this, we're going to need the other weird thingy I created here. And I'm going to add a remesh modifier as well. And you can see that this spiky edge here is disappearing. If I increase the depth, it's coming back again. But let's not do that for demonstration purposes. I have a threshold. And of course, you can see that if you have very small pieces sticking out, they will actually be cut off. And a lot of times you want that, but sometimes you don't. And this is why there is a threshold. The threshold is set to zero, Blender will try not to cut off any pieces at all. But you can see weird things like these happening. So you can increase, increase the threshold until you like what you see. And of course, this is a very simple example. You would probably have much more complex structures for this threshold option to be really important. Now let's have a look at a practical example. I have created some text here and I'll press Alt C to convert the text to a mesh. And you can see this is a very untidy mesh. You can't really do much with that. So I'm going to add a um, remesh modifier, increase the octree depth. And since I have removed disconnected pieces enabled, that means it Blender will choose one of the pieces and remove the other. If I now press apply, was probably a pretty big octree depth and go into edit mode. You can see that the text is now a very clean model consisting only of quads, which a lot of times is really, really handy. Now on this layer, I have prepared a fluid simulation. It's nothing big. It's just a little fluid going down some stairs. But let's see what happens if I turn on the remesh modifier I put on this. I have set this to blocks, which is the third option. And that will do basically the same thing as the others, but it will only create blocks along the surface. There will be no smoothing out of those blocks. If you have a look at this here, 
this looks a little like Lego water. So using the remesh modifier block option, you can sort of Legofy your objects, making them look like they were, well, consisting of blocks. And again, if I disconnect the, the disconnected piece, or if I remove them, then these water drops here will be ignored, which can actually be a good thing, because you don't want blocks flying around and changing their surface too rapidly. Okay, so I guess these are two or three important features which the remesh modifier can be used for. And with that, I say goodbye.